Hi, welcome to our first how-to video. So you get a nice, lovely picture of me in the bottom of your screen, along with what I'm doing, yay. Okay, so today we're gonna create a logo on Canva. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to canva.com. So it's like Canvas, but without the S. We go www.canva.com. Um, chances are you haven't signed up yet, but um, I go over how to do that in the other videos. So this is our creating a logo thing. So, okay, so this is my home page. I want to create a design. So I can either go to create a design or I can go to templates. Either one, it doesn't really matter. So from templates, let me click on this. Down here, notice in business down under there, it says logo. That's what we're doing. Well, where did it go? That doesn't matter. I could, I, I could type in logo. Ta-da. And then I wait. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down. And your logo is a very important part of your brand. It, it's kind of like it, it goes towards your brand recognition, right? So like Nike has their little swoosh. And every time you see the little swoosh, you know that it's Nike. Um, Adidas has the little bar looking things on a triangle. Every time you see that, you don't even have to see the name. You know who it is. So your logo is fairly important when you're creating a brand. So you can pick one of these that's already that are already made. Or you can create, like you could use a blank background and create your own. So I'll show you both. Let's say I'm just going to pick this first one. Let's say I wanted to do that. If I wanted to use that, then what I would do is I would click on that. <clears throat> click use this tempo, uh, template. And then it'll come up eventually. And then you can change this. So you can click on this background. Let's say I don't want it white. Let's say I want it to be the school colors. I could do that. Let's say I don't want it to say adventure. You just click on this and then type in whatever. So I'm gonna put spiller. And then underneath, I'm gonna put AQR because that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna click on that. I'm gonna put AQR. Ta-da, it's our logo. You can also see how it says 20, 2020. I could put like 2021 because we're in the 2020, 2020 to 2021 school year. Say that five times fast. Anyway, so if I like that, I could keep it. All I got to do is download. And when I download, this is important. You want to, you, you have to select the right file type because otherwise you won't be able to use it. PNG is the one that you're mostly going to use. It's the picture format. So there are several. Let me move my little thing over. Ta-da. Okay. So notice how you could pick JPEG. That's a, it's also a picture file. It's just like a smaller one, I think. You've got PDF. That one, if you're like making a presentation or creating something, you can't insert a PDF as a picture. Like if you're just going to if you're just going to insert things as picture, you want to choose these two. Now, if you were doing something like say you were creating a resume, you would want to save that as a PDF because it's a document, right? It's a what is it, portable document format, something like that. I have to Google it. Anyway, these two are the ones you want. I always use PNG because it's a, a better, higher quality image. So I select that. I hit download, and it downloads. Preparing my design. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to go to my home page. Okay, so now let's say I want to do a logo, but I want to design my own because I don't really want the ones that are there because they're lame. I'm going to move this over here again. Okay, so I can either go to templates and to logo, or I can go type logo in the little search thingy. And then I wait for the spinning little circle of doom. Okay, I want to create a blank one. So what it pulls up is it pulls up just a blank square. I'm going to put my logo in that. So you can, you have all kind of options over here. So the first thing I want to do is maybe I want to change the background. So I can go down, okay, background. And let's say, okay, let's say I like that one. I'm going to click that. Now you notice this one says free. So there are always like choices, like you can upgrade different sites and this is one of them. So you, you always have options where there's some like super, super nice ones that are like way cool and over the top, but they're like premium feature and you have to pay for that. So I always look for the free ones, mostly because I'm cheap. Oh, this one's cool. 
Now, keep in mind that for your logo, you want it simple because you're going to be putting this on all kinds of stuff. So really, actually, I think I'm just going to choose a white background because I could put that into documents. OK, the next thing I want to do is I want to put something in there. So I'm going to put something cool like. These are cool. So these these grids right here. OK, these frames are neat. So these frames are kind of like shapes, except that you can put a picture in them. So like, let's say I want to put a QR on there or just a big S for Spiller. Let me find one. OK, here's my alphabet. So let's say I put Spiller over here. Now for my logo, I'm going to want to not go this complicated, but we'll just pretend. So once I have this, this is a frame and pictures go in that. So if I go to photos, so you can search photos or you can upload your own photos. So, okay, so I put I put flowers in there. So if I just click on it, it puts it in the middle of my frame. I don't want that. So I deleted it. But what if you, if you drag it and hold it over that thing, it puts it in the S. See? So now what I'm going to do is I want to add some text because I don't want it to just be S. So I'm going to use this. doesn't matter which one. You can resize it. I'm going to put pillar. Complete my space. Spiller, there we go, Spiller. You can change that. Like right now, it's black. If you want the text to be a different color, you just highlight the whole thing and click on this A with the rainbow underneath. It says text color. So like, let's say I wanted Summer Creek colors. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so I do that. And then let's say, okay, well, I'm going to use this differently. I want my logo to stand out. I'll go, okay, well, I'm going to change the background. So if I have this highlighted, so it has a little turquoise box, if I click on these colors, it lets me change the background color. So since my letters are in maroon, I'm going to put the back ends in gold. That doesn't look good. My S doesn't stand out. Maybe that's a little, uh, I don't like it. I don't really like that either. You get the idea. You could change it around until you find something that you like. Still don't like that one, but okay. Okay, and then I want to put AQR under here or Go Bulldogs or best class ever, whatever. So I accidentally clicked it twice. So I'm just going to click somewhere else, click on it, delete. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to, if you click three times, it highlights everything. So I'm going to type AQR. And I don't want it looking like that. It's ugly. So I want to change the font. So I'm going to click three times to highlight it again. I'm going to go over here to font. I want something squiggly and cool. There's one that they used to have called Architect's Daughter that was a cool one. But that's okay. What about Benedict? Mm. Ooh, Buffalo. Oh, see, see this one? So because I'm a teacher, I have the Canva Pro edition. For y'all, y'all are going to have, I think you just have the regular edition, like the free one. Notice how this one has a crown. This crown says this is a premium feature. So if you just have the basic free version, if you choose this font, you have to pay for it. So be careful with that. Now notice, see, this one doesn't have a crown. So this one's free for everybody. So if you just have the basic version, yeah, you know, we're just practicing with this. So unless you're using it for your actual like business or whatever, I would totally go with the free version. They have all kind of other stuff. Intro skips okay. Okay, so really I would like this to be bigger and bold, but okay, so I'm going to change the font size. Is it 38 now? I'm going to put it, 56 is good. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to click off in the gray part. Okay, so there you have a basic logo. It's lame. It's not one that I would use, but it is a basic logo. So it says Spiller AQR. I could put something interesting underneath, um, something that sets you apart as you. So like if I go back to home, I guess I could have just clicked on one of these tabs. I have stuff that I've done before. So if you go over here, you have all your designs. So like in the past, so that's the one that I just did. It saves it automatically. So it's there. It's the one we did a minute ago. This is one I did before. I was just playing with it. So you can do all kinds of stuff. It saves your designs. You can pick it back up again. But keep in mind that for your logo, oh, I like these. These are cool. This is scary. That's an evil looking bird. And they're giant. They're like, yeah. Anyway, so um, you have all of these things. They're there. 
for your logo, you want something fairly simple and fairly like for a while I was using this part right here, not the rest of it, but like this part right here, because it's simple. It shows up on a printed page, even if you're not printing in color. So that's another thing to take into account. You might, if you wanted to, you could do a color one and one that's just black and white. So it'll show up better when you print stuff out. See, there's, it's not clear. I'm not sure why, but that was one of my original logos. But okay, so that's, that's how you create a logo. So you just go in, you go into the templates or you go into the search, you, or create a design, you type in logo, you can do it from a template, you can do it from a blank one, but that's how you do it. And then afterwards, you just hit the download button. So you make sure you have it. Okay, but if you forget to hit the download button, it's okay, it saves your design automatically, you just go to all your designs. And so like, say I wanted this one, if I click on that, and wait for the circle of doom, it comes up, so like it's here, so I could download it anyway. So even if I forgot to download it and went, oh no, I forgot, I could go back here, download it, and I still have it. Okay, that's it for this one. So your assignment then is to create a logo.